Snagit is an awesome tool if you need a quick screen grab that you want to put into a document or a presentation. But if that is all you are using it for, you are seriously missing out. Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. This channel is all about helping people who are in learning professions get better. Or if you're someone who wants to get into a learning profession, I have all kinds of helpful videos here for you. Today, I'm going to take you beyond the screen grab. I'm going to show you five other really cool things you can do with TechSmith Snagit. If you don't have Snagit yet, I put a link to it in the description below. The 2022 version just came out recently, so I will link to where you can go buy that if you don't have it already. Uh, if you're using an older version, though, that's okay. All these uh, tips and tricks I'm going to show you today you can do in the previous version of Snagit as well, so no worries there. All right, let's get started. I'm here in the Snagit editor, and this is really where the magic happens. When you do a screen capture, you want to make sure that this is toggled on to preview in the editor because the editor is where you can really do the cool stuff. Now, one thing that you'd want to do that's very common is you might want to emphasize a certain part of the screen grab. So this is a great way to do that with the with a rectangle. So if I wanted to, let's say, highlight the chart, you know, I can just put my rectangle around that and there it is and then I can save this I can copy it I can do whatever I want but the point is I would very much encourage you to go in and really explore these different options that you can use to edit your screen grab because it makes them so much more useful and powerful when you start adding these different elements to it okay the second cool feature I want to show you in Snagit templates if you've ever needed to create a job aid, either for your colleagues or for a training class for students, it can be a little tedious. One of the really cool things with this Snagit editor, they have all kinds of really great templates that you can use to make that a lot easier. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If you go up here to create and then image from template, you'll see that you have all kinds of choices of different templates that you can use for various types of documents. And as if that wasn't enough, you can also, if you notice here, it says download more, so you can actually get even more options by clicking on that, and it will take you to the TechSmith website. I'm gonna go to this basic four steps template, and I'm going to hit create. Now, as you can see, it's got the placeholders for my photos. It's got a place to add a title. And all I have to do now is fill this out. So in this case, and I already got, uh, I already did some screen grabs. And this is going to be a PowerPoint job aid. So I make say PowerPoint tutorial. And then for the subtitle specifically, I'm going to do um, inserting an image. Okay, and then I've got my screen grabs down below that go through the steps, and I just drag them up here. There's one, then it's going to open that, then it's got this, and then finally this step. And then all I have to do, I can just go in and I can add my, my captions. So I already went ahead here and I filled in the text. And of course, there's a lot of customization. I can change the font, I can change the color. Also these numbers that came in, I can change these. Once, notice when I click on it over to the right, see I have other options of colors. So I can do a lot of customization. And then the other cool thing is I can add sections. So see these little plus signs to the side? If I click on that, maybe I realize, oh, I actually need a couple more steps in between here, no problem. I can click there and then it adds another section and I can put more pictures in, uh, whatever I, it is I want to do. So I can create this job aid quickly, easily, and then once I have my job aid the way I want it, I simply go over here to share, all kinds of options for me to share this job aid. Now a job aid is nice, but another thing you might wanna consider if you're trying to show people how to do something is Video. So that's number three. So to do that, I've got the capture window open. And basically, 
you notice I have the option here for video. So I'm going to switch that there and I'm going to, I've got record microphone. I, I've got that on. I'm not recording system audio and I'm going to go ahead and click capture. And in this case, I'm going to do full screen, but I could select an area. And then when I'm ready to record, I'm going to simply click record. It gives me a countdown. Okay, everybody, here's how you insert a picture. I'm simply going to click on this drop down here. I'm going to hit this device and I'll pick this picture, insert, and now it is in my PowerPoint and I can resize it. When I'm done, I can just hit stop. So now this takes me back to the Snagit editor. And as you can see, it's a very basic editor. This is not going to have all the features and functionality of something like Camtasia, which is another TechSmith product, but it'll do the job for a quick little video that you want to use to demo something. And then of course I can share it. I simply click on share and then I have all these different share options. And while I'm here, I want to show you one other cool little feature. This will be number four. And that's right down here at the bottom. Notice I have this option to create an animated GIF. All you do is click on that and you'll get this optimize option. You can pick what you want there. I'll leave it on screen video and then you'll simply hit create and it's going to create that for you. Okay, so now I have this GIF created and it's, it's here with the rest of my captures and I can share it. You know, maybe I want to put it into a PowerPoint. So here it is in my PowerPoint. Cool thing number five, this is something that happens to me quite a bit. And that is when I'm creating maybe a PowerPoint or I'm creating e-learning and somebody gives me information that's contained in a picture file. And here's an example. So, you know, maybe somebody, for whatever reason, it was a screen grab someone did a long time ago and they used this as is, uh, but maybe in my presentation, yeah, maybe I want to use these 10 or maybe I want to edit some of them or I don't like the backdrop. But the problem here is it is a picture file, so I really can't grab the text and edit it the way I want to. The good news though is that Snagit has a feature that will let me do that. And let me show you that. So I'm going to go back into the Snagit editor. Here is the picture in Snagit and it's really super easy to get that text. I'm simply going to go over to edit and grab text. And look at this, grab text results. Here are those 10 items. I can simply, I can do copy all or I can select what I want. In this case, I just want the 10 items. I'm going to copy. Now I'll go into my PowerPoint where I want it and I'm going to paste. And now I can edit that text however I want. So those are five ways that you can go above and beyond the simple screen grab using Snagit. If you found this helpful, give me a like. And also, if this is the kind of content that you like to see, be sure to subscribe as well. And don't forget, if you need to get a copy of Snagit, I will put a link in the description that you can use to buy it. As always, I thank you for watching and we will see you next time.